Hi, Taurus. Welcome back. It's your sun, moon, rising, Venus for Taurus. Three card placements for Taurus. Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Three cards for Taurus. September 2023. We have the Page of Cups. Taurus. Two more. September 2023. We have the Four of Wands. Taurus. One more card. Oh, boy. Someone wants to hold on to you. You got four four right there. Okay. The Four of... um. Wands, when they came out at the bottom of the deck, it was the Four of Pentacles. Someone wants to really hold on to you or they, somebody's ready to hold on to a house or where they live. They're holding on to it. All right. We have Temperance. At the bottom of the deck, Taurus, we have Justice. Okay. Libra's energy for the rest of the month, Taurus. So you could be a Taurus with Libra or air placements in your birth chart, especially Libra. Or Sagittarius energy, okay, and the others water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and we have wands in the um, center, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right, Taurus, you're doing something around your home. You could be painting, or you could be moving, maybe trying to get somewhere else, or you're just feeling tired of where you are. Some of you, Taurus, are doing stuff at the house, fixing things up, painting, putting things up, or redecorating, or changing around things. You're doing something in your house in September, okay? You're going to be busy doing something in your house. For others of you, Taurus, you guys could be looking for another place to live, okay? You could be in your mind, you're thinking about moving, or it's crossing your mind, or, you, or in September it's going to cross your mind, or you're going to be thinking about it. You might be looking at different places, where can you go? Where can you live? All right. That you're going to be thinking about maybe where you're going to be moving to. Um, take it as a plot. This is not for everyone. May or may not resonate. For other others of you, Taurus, you do have a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, that wants to come in and apologize to you. They're going to be trying to come to your house if they know where you live, okay? They're coming there. They want to talk to you. They want to talk to you face to face. They want to apologize. They definitely want to apologize face to face to you and i feel like this person is taking a long time but it's accurate it's correct it's justice okay so when this person does show up to apologize to you or talk to you okay they're coming to your place of residence and that's why i'm saying if the, if you know who this person is and you know and they know where you live you know expect them to show up for you for some of you guys it may not resonate but this is what's in their thoughts. They're ready to come in and apologize. And a lot of them know that they need to come in and apologize. We have justice here. They know they need to do it. It could be a Libra that wants to come in and apologize, okay? Or a Sagittarius or a water sign that wants to apologize. But um, someone is sorry for what they did to you in the past. Yeah, you're getting justice because of this Five of Sword energy behind justice, okay? Um, this is bitterness, gossip, this five of sword energy could be an Aquarius, doesn't have to be, but someone could have been gossiping, um, lying, so, you know, this person talks a lot of crap behind someone's back here, okay, with the five of swords, they're talking a lot of crap behind someone's back, gossip, envy, win at all costs with this card as well, okay, but their words hurt, they said something hurtful to you, is something that they said is what I'm picking up. Their their words cut deep. All right, they could have cussed. They could have um, degraded someone. Um, they could have talked to. They just was was disrespectful. Period. Someone disrespected someone. Could have been at a party or a gathering. I'm seeing they're saying. Yeah, there's something shady at a party or. Something like that. All right. At a party, watch your drinks. Again, I'm getting that. All right. Because the five, the three of cups is ending up between the five of swords and the seven of swords. Are you serious? Mm-mm. Someone's an Aquarius. Okay. <laughs> Who is this? There's an Aquarius at this party. No. All right. Well, just watch your drink. If you are at a gathering in September... Taurus, or you get invited somewhere just watch your drink there's someone around you serving the drink or whatever someone's got something um not accurate it's not accurate okay and they could be inviting you out somewhere or something like that 
I don't know what that's for. I don't know what they're doing. But they're inviting you somewhere. But just watch your drink. There's too much shadiness around this party or whatever. I would say don't even go. It's that bad. I'm serious. Because there's drink a lot of drinking there. And it's... um. There's shadiness around this party. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm gonna throw it out there. All right. Um, they're really showing me it's an Aquarius that's gonna do something to someone's drink, all right? But, um, and the reason why it's an Aquarius is the cards around the Three of Cups. It's Five of Swords and Seven of Swords. Someone is sneaky, shady, backstabbing, conniving. They will do whatever they gotta do to get you. I don't know if they want to sleep with you or um, take advantage of you some kind of way. I don't know if they want to rob you. Whoever's getting invited to a party in September, just be careful. That's the message there, okay, guys? Just use it at your own discernment. There's someone, uh, there's someone bad there at the party. They're no good. They're spiking drinks. They're putting stuff in drinks. So, oh, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know. So, Taurus, um, message for Taurus, September 2023. Number three. We have Saturn, which rules over Capricorn. Um, that's talking about reputation or something. Yeah, someone might be trying to destroy someone's reputation or something. We have Scorpio's energy. That's horrible, guys. A room message for um, Taurus, September 2023. Okay, this room means luck. So you guys could have been experiencing bad luck. It is in reverse. I turned it around. But uh, if you're experiencing a lot of bad luck or just one bad thing after another, your luck is going to take a change or a turn in September, okay? Messages for um, Taurus, September 2023. Uh-oh, what is that? Uh-uh. Are you serious? All right, guys. I got chills in your reading. We got betrayal here. They actually told me to stop. So I do. I do listen. All right. Sometimes I don't listen, but I am listening now. I got chills. So this message is very serious. Somebody's going to, like, probably not listen to their intuition and go anyway. But, you know, be careful if you are going to a party in September. If you do hear the message, just be careful. I will split the deck in a second. Give me a minute, guys. Something, a card fell way over here. There it is. Thank you guys for hanging in there with me. I went way in the back somewhere back there. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So it says all spells reverse. It says, let me, let me eat you. Let me taste you. Hidden money. You guys could have a, a hidden stalker or a secret stalker, or a secret admirer I'm getting as well. There's somebody that wants to, you know, be with you intimately. Foreplay. We have victory concerning love. Ghost returns. Okay, and that's when I got the chills. I don't know if you guys are experiencing a hunting or something. Or maybe someone's house got a ghost. Like, why am I picking that up? It looks like someone tried to, re, you know, get rid of it. So take it as a apply. This may or may not resonate. I could be all over the place, guys, because these are all general messages. And it's different for everybody. But someone, it says ghost returns. And that never comes out. It says single and ready to mingle. No past involved. So someone's ready to move forward. We have twin flame. We have I love you. It says, I want you right now, now, now. Okay, so I was very demanding when I wrote that. So someone's very serious about you. That's what I'm saying. They could be keeping it hidden or a secret. Wealthy person. Someone's also keeping their wealth a secret or something like that. 
Because it said we had hidden money for you guys. They came out. Here it is. Hidden money. It says good money. Judgment in reverse. So someone's definitely receiving back karma around you. Like I said, for whoever this person is around someone's drinks or at a party that is being sneaky and deceptive, lying and cheating, just know that that person's under judgment. And it's for that person because they are being pretty weird, all right? It says hard plus sex. Blanket of love. Haunting. Are you serious? I feel like someone's house or apartment or something like that is, you know, haunted here. Hmm. Haunting. Message in the mail. It says, I should have stayed with you. All right, and this is what this person could be sorry about. Maybe they left, they walked away or something like that. Okay, Taurus, that's all I have for you guys. Until next time, take care.